I've got a six month self study boot camp that you can use to learn the skills to become a cloud engineer, cloud support, cloud admin, and entry level cloud role with a focus on engineering. So if you're interested in sales or any other space of cloud, this isn't really what you're looking for. Uh, but if you are, take a look. Hi, my name is GPS and welcome to a new video. All right, you're gonna go to bootcamp.madebygps.com to start off. This is a much more concise and straightforward and meant to be used as a reference of what Learn to Cloud is, whereas Learn to Cloud is a overall guide that you probably have to go in and out often. This is something that you can just check on a daily basis, a weekly thing, because I know Learn to Cloud can be a little overwhelming when you're trying to just have maybe like a high level guide or a high level outline of what you need to follow, right? Um, so. The protocol will be to three to four hours a day at the minimum. Keep a study journal. This is a place for you to reflect at the end of your study time every single day. Spend five to 10 minutes just writing uh, what was challenging, what you really liked, resources you really liked, and overall what you want to follow tomorrow. Because this is really what's going to glue together uh, everything and help you like have like a, a, a train of thought that you can continue on the next day. Because remember, you're gonna be learning on your free time, right? Maybe you have a bunch of other responsibilities and it's gonna be hard for you to remember everything. Uh, but if you have sort of like your train of thought in your journal, then the next day you can start your, your studying by just referencing your journal, like, oh, this is where I was at. Oh yeah, I remember this. And then you continue doing that too. You're gonna end each section with a project. The difficulty of projects doesn't necessarily matter more than just overall that you can showcase clarity and understanding of the skills that you'll be learning. Make sure to put it on GitHub uh, and then all cloud platforms have free credits when you sign up. So take advantage of that to make some of these projects live as well. Um, and then end each project with documentation. So this is why I recommend you have a journal because you can just go through your daily uh, journal entries. And then from here, you can sort of grab everything and create like a blog post or create a, a tutorial on like YouTube or somewhere. Um, but the journal is going to really help you develop your own ability to communicate technical things with your own voice, your own style, your authenticity, your own realness, because those things really help when it comes to developing confidence for an interview. So I highly, highly recommend you and each project with documentation. And I factored in three days at the end of each section for you to do this. So take advantage of the time. And overall instructions for the project or for the bootcamp is create a free account in any cloud platform, AWS, Azure, or GCP. I don't care any one of those. Set up a learning budget in your cloud account. $20, I think, for each month is more than enough. And make sure to set up alerts at 50% and then 75%. And then uh, this, these are alerts that will tell you, oh, you've consumed 50% of your budget. Oh, you've consumed 75%. And these will just help you not go over budget. Make sure to delete things when you're done using them too. Create a blog or YouTube channel to document your learning. Don't get too worried about your branding. You don't need fancy styling, none of that. Just go create a channel or go create your blog or wherever it is that you want to document these things. And then create a GitHub account. You'll need these to upload your projects onto. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with a study plan with Bash. Bash is what you'll use to interact with your servers via uh, CLI via commands. And this is one of the most effective, productive, and efficient ways of interacting with a cloud platform. And you should be doing this as soon as possible. I know beginners tend to use the UI a lot, but if you go and deploy a VM, it's probably going to take you anywhere from five to six minutes using the UI, stepping through each step. Whereas with a CLI command, you can do that in 30 seconds. There's a bunch of resources here. And like I mentioned, these will build off Learn to Cloud. So if we click on like the first resource here, it just brings you to the Linux Bash and Networking Fundamentals. It gives you resources, projects, commands you should be familiar with, uh, maybe certifications that you might be interested in. But again, the study plan, the bootcamp plan, is more so just a high level outline so you can reference it as often as you'd like. All right, we're gonna divide these two weeks into 10 days of studying and working within that Ubuntu VM. So go into your cloud account, deploy the cheapest possible Ubuntu VM. And then this is what you're going to use to learn. Remember to turn it off after you're done and also configure it to automatically turn off at a certain hour. Like maybe you're always done studying by 11 p.m. Have it turn off at 11 p.m. In case you do forget. Also, this is just so we don't spend more money than necessary. Uh, so 10 days working inside of the Ubuntu VM and just using the resources to learn different types of commands. And then four days writing scripts. I recommend you do both of them, but if you don't have enough time, 
then uh, do one of them. Probably the first one is sort of the most bang for your buck. Uh, and then again, three days at the end of each section to uh, document your learning. And I stopped repeating this in every single one of them, but you get the gist of it. Three days are factored into the six months, so keep that in mind. Next, we're going to networking, uh, how all the machines talk to each other. So it's the plumbing of the cloud, right? You're going to spend two weeks. This is more of a theoretical section. There aren't any hands-on um, aspects to this besides you know, spending 10 days just learning networking concepts, subnets, vnets. Again, if you click on here and then you scroll down to the networking section, it's going to tell you sort of concepts that you should be familiar with. And in terms of the project, I uh, spent four days here, but just create a well-documented network network architecture diagram and become familiar with diagramming tools because these are some tools that you're going to be using for the rest of your career. I recommend going to the architecture centers of the cloud that you're working in and then just find a two-tier and three-tier architecture and be able to recreate that from scratch, but also be able to speak through it saying like, oh, uh, we have here a three-tier architecture. We have a subnet here. We have the, the this route table here and you know be able to speak to the architecture and we're going to use this in the following sections as well next we're going to go into python we're going to spend five weeks in this section here python is just the one of the most beginner friendly languages when it comes to cloud there's so much community so much content i highly recommend it even though i'm not personally a python developer i can remove my bias and say when it becomes comes to cloud beginners it's probably one of the best options uh, you should have already been introduced to variables, loops, and just more programming concepts in the bash section. But here we're going to dive further into this. So, so spend four weeks with your favorite Python resource. Again, I have this Learn to Cloud link here, and I have a bunch of them listed here. Um, and I'm probably going to add another one because I know I found uh, a Python playlist that was fantastic. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then spend one week building a project, uh, building to do app API and deploy. I highly recommend doing both of these uh, to do app API. So you don't need a graphical part to this, just the back end and deploy it to your Azure, AWS, or GCP account. And then create a two tier or three tier ar application architecture that you can deploy to your cloud account. So that architecture that you created over here, just go and use the Python SDK for your cloud and deploy it to your account. Next, we're going to go to our uh, cloud section and you have picked a cloud at this point. You've already been introduced it from the very beginning and now it's time to dive deeper. You're going to spend four weeks studying for an associate level certification. This could be the solution architect associate, the developer associate that you um, have in AWS, or you can go to the AZ-104, AZ-204, which are associate level certifications for Azure. I don't know the GCP ones, but I'm sure they have them. But spend four weeks studying for those and then two weeks building the Cloud Resume Challenge or any cloud project. Uh, I highly, highly recommend the Cloud Resume Challenge. It's just it's just one of the best projects when it comes to learning cloud. Um, I have a bunch of other projects if you go to resources on Learn to Cloud and there's, you know, pick your cloud here. and Pick whatever one you really want. But honestly, the best bang for your buck is going to be the Cloud Resume Challenge. Then we move on to Terraform. Uh, Starting from step four, all the projects and sort of hands-on are going to be just implementing uh, additional features from your previous projects uh, because a lot of the, these are all DevOps practices and DevOps is all about making your existing projects more efficient. Um, so you don't have to build anything from scratch, it's more so implementing features to your already existing projects, right? So for example, we're going to start with Terraform, which is probably the most popular infrastructure as code tool. Again, resource here, but you're going to spend one week overall just studying Terraform, the concepts, uh, the languages that you'll need to use, and those types of things. And then one week building the infrastructure as code files for any of your previous projects. So build it for your cloud resume challenge, build it for your, where is it, for your to-do app, or for your two-tier or three-tier application architecture. Uh, spend that time doing that. Then we move on to Docker. Uh, you're going to spend two weeks, one week uh, studying Docker overall, just concepts, and then one week containerizing any of your previous projects. Probably makes the most sense to do something like your to-do app API. You could also do your cloud resume if you wanted to. And then GitHub Actions. You most likely get an introduction to CICD with your cloud resume challenge project. So I would take the time to spend one week, uh, two weeks total, but one week just overall further diving into what CICD with GitHub Actions is, and then one week building CICD for any of your other previous other projects, your Cloud Resume will most likely have that because I believe it's part of the challenge, uh, but just do it for, I don't know, your to-do app or 
or two tier or three tier uh, application architecture as well. Uh, and that's pretty much the the outline. I feel like this is something you can save, you can reference as often. Again, you can duplicate this to your Notion so you can remove, uh, add things as needed. But uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful and I hope you have a fantastic 2023.